the um, real property and tax services, environmental concerns, yeah. committee meetings to order. Uh, we do not have a quorum, so Lexi's going to run through our agenda and um, any actions that we think we want to make sure to get done at the uh, full board meeting, we'll just do with a post committee request. A follow. Okay. Okay, Lexi. We can't. We can't do that. Can't approve the minutes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so the first um, action agenda item is for um, to approve the attached list of chargebacks. You do have that in your packet. Uh, it is a court ordered. Um, the assessments were changed, so it's for three years, uh, and they're labeled up in the top right hand corner. So for assessment roll 16, tax year 17. Assessment Rule 17, Tax Year 18, and Assessment Rule 18, Tax Year 19. So because of the court order, they get changed. These are just the typical that go through quite often. So this is one that Matt was saying we're going to have to do a post-resolution request on. But yeah, I mean, if there, uh, we could conceptually approve the to move it forward. Yeah. Not, it wouldn't be a vote, but if everybody's okay with it, we'll all, all set. Yeah. <coughs> okay. They're all in Horicon? Sounds good. They're all in Horicon. It was one. Parcel. Yeah, we had to lower the assessment. Okay. It's okay. just the same parcel. Uh, see that? For three years back. <coughs> three years. You can't go back any further than three years. Be nice, Gene. <laughs> Do we, do, do we need a resolution to comply with a court order? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're just going to review their thing. So the next one was a resolution uh, request to reappoint me to um, the director position of Real Property <coughs> Tax Services. Um, it is a six-year appointment, and it's per Real Property Tax Law 1530, subparagraph 1. Um, this would be something that would take effect for October 1st, so we have plenty of time that we can bring it back next month. Um, any questions on this? Anybody? <laughs> Are you buying lunch if we point you? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm sorry, that wasn't nice. Um, no, I can't afford lunch this week. <laughs> so um, next um, is we were going to discuss further the amendment to Resolution 259 of 2017, which was the terms and conditions of sale. Um, we had this here the past couple of months. Um, there were some other changes that we had our county attorney revise um, the paragraph F, and they are in bold. Um, but we can bring this back next month and have further discussion then about it. We sat down uh, last week uh, with uh, Lexi and the county attorney and uh, Charlie Wallace to just make sure everybody's on the same page and it looks like we're, we're good. Okay, any questions on that? Kevin, <laughs> May. Kevin, do you have anything on that you want to add? No? Um, and then the last thing is under um, environmental concerns, um, and it was a resolution request to authorize the chairman of the board to enter into a municipal agreement with Energy Improvement Corporation relating to the Energize New York Open Sea Pace Financing Program. Um, I know that we had added it out online. Um, I didn't include a copy because it was quite a few pages. I do have a copy here if anybody wants to review it. Um, but it is filled out. I think Tammy DiLorenzo added to it. Um, I think Mary Spain also um, reviewed it as well. So that we can also bring back next month. 
And this is a sole source. Uh, the, this is the only company that's available to, to, to do the financing, right? Mm -hmm. is, it, is there a cost for this? No. Um, no. No. This, what this does is uh, we passed a, a local law authorizing it in this county, and what it does is it will allow uh, a private, the private sector to make energy improvements in their buildings with upfront money from this company uh, that will then get repaid uh, uh, to the company. But the county's involvement in it is that we have to authorize the structure. They'll upfront the money but then we have to pay them back. Yeah, the, the way this program used to, no, we're, we're out of it financially. We just need to, by law, provide the authorization for it to happen in this county. Where does the money come from? Uh, the money comes from this uh, this firm. There, it's it's like an I I don't know what you would call it. You wouldn't call it an investment bank. They're 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 invest so so it's a they're lending essentially the money out to the companies that are going to make the energy improvements, with a plan to have the uh, have it pay back. Um, and it used to be uh, when this program was initially conceived, they would tie the uh, payback to the uh, uh, the taxes, uh, and they would utilize the counties to do that. Uh, but the concern ended up with uh, uh, the the auction process. If if the county ends up owning this parcel, and uh, the the debt goes with the parcel, so now the county's on the hook. So the way they reformed this program is to have this company step in and, and take the risk rather than the counties. Can I, can I just change the topic for one moment? Uh, the, the parcel in Queensbury on Bay Road, it uh, moving along? We're, we're it is. We just had to wait for the money to transfer over. So okay. um, today I plan on doing the PO up and getting that out to them so that they can, Great. whenever their schedule allows, I would love it if they could start next week, but I'm not sure if they can get in there, especially with the holiday week. Um, but yes, they will be moving forward on that. Good. Yeah. Okay, anything further? I don't think we need a motion to adjourn, right? We'll just adjourn the meeting. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Yeah, long, long ride for you, huh? Yeah, well, it's okay. I have to pick up my granddaughter anyway. <laughs>